at Home in the English Countryside, Designers and Their Dogs, by Susanna Salk, Forward by Nina Campbell, Photography by Stacy Bukes. Yesterday was August 26th, and here in the United States, we celebrated National Dog Day, and I thought this book would be appropriate for today. A dog has the uncanny ability to snap you out of any kind of bad mood you've ever been in faster than anything else you can think of. Jill Abramson Before you have a dog, you can't quite imagine what living with one might be like. Afterwards, you can't imagine living any other way. James Harriet. The author of this book, Susanna Salk, is also an author of seven other books. She is currently the host of the popular YouTube channel Quintessence, which boasts over 100 episodes. She began her career as the interior design manager at El Decor magazine. This beautifully illustrated book is an intimate celebration of British country life with all the hallmarks of how design and dogs are as intertwined as roses and wellies. Sharing one's home with a pet is a natural love that humans have embraced for centuries from dirt floor huts to the castles of kings and queens, this love and desire to have a cherished pet near us often overlooks the dirt or damage that a furry friend can bring with it. And it certainly is worth the trade-off for unconditional love. Home in the English countryside showcases a mix of glamorously bohemian and casually aristocratic country homes captured in regional photography by Stacy Bukes. Her images display moments of intimacy and tenderness between designers and their dogs, as well as their stunning country homes. This dreamy glimpse into country homes lived in by many of Britain's most popular design stars and their dogs is brimming with genuine smiles and inspiration. Set against some of the most beautiful country estate homes and gardens in England. A walk down a scenic country lane with a Labrador, or tea with pugs in a cozy dwelling. There has always been a close connection between the British countryside and dogs, and this book highlights the beauty of both. In the foreword, designer Nina Campbell writes, Dogs seem to be an integral part of design, and after all, they come in the most incredible designs themselves. And much like creating a room, sometimes the most surprising mixture delivers the most interesting result. Behind so many of the best designers is a dog 
waiting to welcome them home. An Englishman's home is his castle and his dog his best friend. Throughout history, dogs have been portrayed with their masters from the grandest King Charles with his spaniels to the most mundane but still much loved mutt. Somehow, an English country home is not a home without dogs, as you will see in this enchanting book. Presented throughout are the striking and chic homes that belong to such international designers as Penny Morrison, Bunny Guinness, Emma Burns, Susie Atkinson, and Veer Grinney. Designers give the readers free reign into their homes and offer ideas on how to live stylishly with dogs, whether it's with collars made of custom leather and green malachite or dog bowls of antique spode porcelain or just chic and comfy napping spots made with antique linens. This book was a sweet and lighthearted look at English decor. If you love design, or you love dogs, and especially if you love them both. At home in the English countryside, designers and their dogs. Written by Susanna Salk. Forward by Nina Campbell. Photography by Stacy Bukes. This book is published by Rizzoli. It is 223 pages and retails for $50. to thank everyone for the messages and the votes on the chair upholstery. I had so much fun reading your comments and I appreciate you taking the time to send them. The winner was the antelope fabric I ordered from Ballard Design. It's currently at my upholsterer's shop and as soon as it's finished you'll be the first to see. <laughs>